I'm losing the sunlight fast, so I better get into it. <sighs> Good morning, it's time for a cup of joe. I want to be a cup of joe. Woo! Does that feel good? It's been a while. It's good to be back. Welcome everyone to the Easter season. It's great to be here. Jesus has risen. As you may or may not know, I gave up YouTube for Lent, or at least tried to, and that went better than it ever has before, which doesn't mean it was perfect. I was not successful as much as I would like to have been in not watching any YouTube videos. My idea was to just completely cut it out and I've always wanted to do that, and I've never been able to do that when I'm preparing for a really, you know, kind of mundane class. Like, if I'm preparing for Excel, and I'm just doing Excel spreadsheets all day, I love to take breaks and watch YouTube. Also, if I'm in a hotel at night, sometimes after a class, I just watch YouTube to unwind. So, that being said, this Lent, I was able to not watch any YouTube videos from my subscription box. That means I watched pretty much everything. Um, either by searching for something very specific that I was trying to watch or just watching things in the trending page, you know, catching up on the news. What did Trump tweet? We've got to know. Which means that I did end up actually watching a lot more uh, things like TED Talks, spiritual videos specific about Lent, things like that. So it was much more intentional YouTube watching, though it wasn't entirely a YouTube free Lent. So now Easter's here. I'm back on YouTube and I was able to go through and delete a bunch of subscriptions to different YouTube channels. Like the really great thing about not watching anything from my subscription box all of Lent was that sometimes I would see videos on like my homepage or wherever and I would click watch later, watch later because I was trying not to watch, you know, just watch time filler, time wasting, whateverness. And so today when I went through my great big long watch later list, I just deleted so much of it. I'm like, I don't have time to watch all this crap. And you don't realize how much just pointless things you're watching. And it's like, why would I waste my time on that? I wouldn't spend hours watching a bunch of useless videos, but yeah, I'll spend a few minutes here and a few minutes there. So it was really nice to be able to cut out all that and then just go through my subscription box and just delete a bunch of people from there. Another thing that not watching a lot of YouTube has allowed me to do, and actually, I, I actually started cutting out YouTube more right on Holy Week, which is right at the end of Lent leading up to Easter, because I knew I wasn't doing that great. So I actually ended up blocking YouTube entirely on my computer, and that helped a ton. And I've just been doing some more spiritual reading, uh, especially reading Imitation of Christ, which is a great book. I highly recommend it. But it's just gotten me thinking more about how I not only spend my time consuming media, but creating it as well, because I want to be making things for you guys that builds you up spiritually when it comes down to it. I mean, if I consider myself a Christian, what good am I if all I ever do is tell you how to get rid of a few things from your house, you know? I want everyone to get to heaven. I want everyone to follow Christ. So, I don't know. You, we may be seeing a change here on the channel, but just me making videos is a change, right? So, I mean, <laughs> there's that. But I just feel like I'm ready to go deeper with myself, spiritually, as far as not just getting rid of things, but being more selfless, denying myself in uh, just new ways. And I don't know entirely what that means yet, but I find it exciting and I'm excited to take you on that journey with me. So if that's something that interests you, right, stick around. If not, slide off. I, I, I mean, I see it as if something's sticking around, right? If it's stuck to the wall, if you want to. If not, you can just slide down the wall and it was nice to have you. And we might still have some of your residue left behind. That got weird really fast. What was it? Was there something else I wanted to say? I don't I don't know that there was. But I hope Lent was good for you. I hope you were able to deny yourself in new ways, be more successful at it than I was, and learn from it. And I, even though I wasn't as successful as I wanted to, I really learned a lot, especially at the end at Holy Week when I just blocked YouTube. I was like, oh my gosh, this feels great. Not watching whatever I ever watch. And I don't, I didn't miss it nearly as much as I thought I would. All right, let's get into some comments, shall we? Martina Donahue says, I would love to see a house tour about minimalism and a day in the life. This summer, I want to make a house tour so badly. I'm not going to make any promises, but don't don't let me off the hook, okay? I, I just, I'm going to do it. Christine Maurer says, I'm loving this Lenten series. Thank you for doing this. I love seeing the spiritual side of you. Okay, so for... 
my Lenten videos, and those didn't even go as I planned. I was planning to make them ahead of time and make more and whatever, but it is what it is, right? So I deleted the comments or disabled the comments from those for your benefit as well as mine so that I wouldn't feel like, oh, I have to read all these comments, right? I was trying to set that side of time. Time is a sign. Yep. And also for you as well, to just get us all in a Lenten spirit of reflection rather than, you know, blah, this I have to say. Not that I, I love comments. Do not, that don't take this the wrong way. But I think we can all take some time in our life, and Lenten is a great time to do that, to just reflect and leave it at reflection. Anyways, so I disabled the comments, and there was one time when I forgot to do it on a video, and I didn't notice until I saw this comment here from Christine. So Christine, I think that this was meant to be because this comment just really helped to encourage me. Because sometimes with my channel, I don't know, I started off as just about minimalism. And now I feel like I'm ready to take a shift into a more spiritual side of things. And I, there's a fear in there because that's not what my initial audience came for. That's not what the bulk of my audience, as far as I know, is here for. So I fear alienating people. Which is so silly because the spiritual side of things is so much more important than the superficial, but it is what it is. This is a long way of saying thank you, Christine. Your comment is the one comment that broke through in all of Lent, so I think God sent you to me. Catherine Swanson says, I'm happy to say that this video, which is my getting rid of a thousand things video, inspired me and I got rid of a thousand and five things yesterday. I've been working towards simplifying for a while, but was kind of losing motivation and feeling stuck. But I now feel lighter, my house feels lighter, and there are fewer items without a home in my house. Thanks a thousand. Uh, I, I see what you did there. Uh, the reason I bring up this comment, first of all, is to say, Catherine, great job. Like, so awesome. That's so just really, yes, yes. The other reason is, this was not my idea. I found this in another video. A couple other um, people have done this before. I don't know whoever started it, but it's a great, I think, way to just vamp yourself up and say, can I do it? Can I get rid of a thousand things? And it helped me, so I suggest doing it yourself. And I think of it as kind of a spinoff on the minimalist game. If you've heard of that, created by the minimalists, that's where for a month, every day, you get rid of that many things plus one. So like kind of whatever day of the month it is. So on the first day, you get rid of one thing. The second day, you get rid of two things all the way up until the 30th day of the month where you get 30, get rid of 30 things. I don't know how much that adds up to, um, but I know I probably would, that would be very hard for me to stay consistent with that. So I love to just take a, I don't know however long it takes you take a whole day and just see, boom, can I get rid of a thousand things? Uh, and it's exciting. It's fun. Put on some music, get some friends over, see if you can do it. Give it a try. Oh, that's what I was forgetting to say. I recorded an entire video about why I don't use ads in my videos, and now I just feel like that's a pointless video to make. Like, why do I need to take an entire video, you know, five or ten or whatever minutes of your time just to tell you that I just don't think that ads really line up with my idea of minimalism because it's about getting stuff, and I can't control what's in the ads. That didn't need a five, ten minutes, did it? I didn't think so. D. Ricky Riccio, Riccio says, I told my daughter about your shower curtain and tablecloth video, and I just noticed I told her it was by Sleeveless Joe. Ha <laughs> ha, oops. Well, you know what? You know what, D. Riccio? I can be Sleeveless Joe. I can be whatever you guys want me to be. No, I can't. This shirt's tucked in. Oh, too much skin. Too much skin. D then goes on to say, I think another aspect is letting go of talking about our things. I think this is such an interesting idea. I love it. She says, I go out with family and they talk about their stuff, car, house, etc. Monopolizes the whole time I spend with them. I consciously do not talk about anything I own, which is what I need or that holds value, but no more. I try not to add to their conversation. Only say, that's nice, or good for you, etc. only. I find it, it takes away from real conversations. That's so good. That's such a good point. I've never thought about consciously trying not to talk about uh, our new phone, right? Or the new car or anything like that. Why waste time on that? We want to cut to the ch chase, right? Cut to the good stuff. Cut to the meat. Let's talk about what we're passionate about and what God's doing in our life. Things that matter. So yeah, that's an awesome. Thank you, D. That's a great idea. Brianna Campo says, do you have a cell phone? I'm thinking about ditching my phone plan and just using Wi-Fi would save a lot of money. 
Uh, that's a great idea, and I do have a cell phone as well as a laptop, and honestly, I hate having both of those. I just don't like it. And I've seen other YouTubers, uh, minimalist YouTubers, who will ditch one or the other. So they either say, you know what, I don't need a phone play anymore. I'm just going to use the computer. And then I've seen others who say, you know what, why have a laptop when I can just get, you know, a bigger smartphone and just use that. And I, I love the idea of doing either of those things. I don't see myself losing the phone just because I have a wife and kids. And as our family grows, I just see communication as being really important. That being said, I can't see myself getting rid of the laptop because of editing videos and uh, working on YouTube. So I don't know, but I would love to get rid of one or both. And Brianna, because I was on my hiatus, Brianna then eventually commented again saying, next month I'm not repurchasing a phone card. No phone number and one less bill for me using Wi-Fi for everything. So Brianna, you go girl. I'm so jealous of you, rock it. And finally for our last comment, Brianna says, do you actually not ever wear shoes? Just curious. <laughs> so I'm currently barefoot. I am often barefoot. Um, but yes, I do wear shoes when I have to. I live in Michigan. Because of the weather, I do have to wear shoes. But also, now because of my work, my job as an instructor, I have to look professional and wear shoes as well. However, I did. This is how much I hate wearing shoes and prefer being barefoot. I did specifically look up in our handbook when I got the job and it says under dress code that we are allowed to wear dress sandals. Now I'm sure that that rule was intended for women. I'm sure that it was also um, probably intended more for people who worked in the office rather than instructors, but it was not gender specific. It was not position specific. So I say it applies to me. So I did look up some different possibilities for maybe dress sandals. Unfortunately, a lot of them are very shoe-like. I did find these, which I bought, and I do wear them sometimes. Let me see if you if you can see what, tell me what you think. If you, can you can you see that? Can you, is it? I don't know. I, they looked really good online. Now, sometimes when I wear them, I feel like I'm wearing like a glorified croc. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Would you respect an instructor wearing these or would you be like, what is this guy doing? Is he wearing Crocs? Like what? How is, how is that okay? So yes, I do wear shoes when I have to, but I don't like it, which is why I'm going to start my Catholic commune down in the South. Not like the deep South. Like I don't want to Texas, Florida, that's too hot. Um, but what about maybe like uh, North Carolina, Tennessee, a Catholic commune in that area, if you're in that area or want to go to that area and be a part of the Catholic commune, I've already got some some people lined up for it. So you just you just say the word and it's you know it's gonna be like homesteading, homeschooling our kids together, just cool stuff like that. Just you know the cool stuff. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. A cup of Joe. That's right, a cup of Joe. Every morning, I like to start my day with a cup of joe. This is a really good cup of joe. Mmm, awesome. Whenever I have a cup of joe, I take it black. I take it black. I take it black. <sighs> Love you, bye. Sorry if I'm in shadow, it was either that or like <sighs> blazing white sun. And if I get closer, uh, there we go. Is that better? Worse? I don't know. I feel like <sighs> I'm going to put all this crap. Bye, Stephanie! I'm crap! I'm crap the house where there's tons of room for all this crap. <laughs> if you like the towel a lot. Let's so hurry up! You have a customer! I'm a lady! How no. about the... Uh, I'm a lady! Do I have a customer? Is it a dream come true for him? Ha! <laughs> Nothing to fear, Papa.
Oh, 